work as Miss Venezuela Menorca Mercado. You called it, Angela. Venezuela's in. Oh, believe me, this was an easy pick. Menorca's been a favorite from the very beginning. Miss Greece. Miss Venezuela. Definitely more than anything else, I have to say I'm very disciplined. I, I get that from my parents. Also, I love a challenge. The bigger, the better. Miss Greece. Next up, we have Miss Venezuela. She's 22-year-old Menorca Mercado of Caracas, a university student and member of the Venezuelan national volleyball team. So clearly, you are a serious athlete. How has sports shaped your life? ¿Cómo que los deportes han forjado tu vida? De una manera muy positiva, me ha ayudado a que la mujer tiene que ser trabajadora, luchadora. Me han despertado ese deseo de superación de que hay que luchar por esos principios morales que nuestra familia nos inculcan desde pequeño. In a very positive way, sports have taught me that a woman must work hard and she must overcome and be a struggler, a fighter. And uh, it has also taught me that I must follow the moral values that my family has taught me since I was a youngster. Now, being part of this volleyball team is kind of a legacy for your family, isn't it? El formar parte del equipo de voleibol es como parte de la herencia de tu familia, ¿no es así? Efectivamente, mi, toda mi familia es deportista. Mi mamá, eh, en sus años de, de juventud, eh, fue preseleccionada para la Selección Nacional de Vole. Y bueno, ahora el sueño se hizo realidad cuando yo integro la Selección Nacional de Vole. Sí, como un hecho de fact, mi familia participa en sports. Mi madre, cuando era joven, fue preselectada para el Venezuela Nacional Volleyball Team. And now I fulfill that because I am part of the National Venezuelan Volleyball Team. All right, thank you very much, Miss, Miss Venezuela. That is Menorca Mercado. And this year, Minolta is also giving a $1,000 reward to the contestant named Miss Photogenic. And for 1994, it's the beautiful Minorca Mercado, Miss Venezuela. Miss Venezuela. And another belongs to Miss Venezuela, Menorca Mercado. Back, please, and Miss Venezuela. Menorca Mercado, select the name, please. You have gone with judge number eight, Mona Groot. What relevance do you think pageants such as this have for a woman today? ¿Qué importancia crees tú que tienen los certámenes de este tipo para la mujer de hoy en día? La importancia fundamental es que mediante este certamen podemos transmitir un gran mensaje a toda la humanidad porque actualmente, gracias a la nueva tecnología, nos podemos comunicar, no existen fronteras que nos puedan separar y bueno, y nosotros tenemos que aprovechar esto para unir todos los seres humanos mediante la paz la unión y la comunicación entre, todo, entre todos los seres humanos y sobre todo el amor, el amor que es lo fundamental. I believe that the basic relevance of all of this is that we have to, through these kind of pageants, take advantage of telecommunications, of what we have at our disposal in order to communicate with all of humanity, in order to transmit a wonderful message of peace, of peace and love, in order to bring the whole world together. All right, that's Ms. Venezuela, stay right here. Well, Menorca is a professional athlete who, until a few months ago, believe it or not, didn't even own a pair of high heels. <laughs> well, and here she is with a chance to be the new Miss Universe. Okay, now you may go, Menorca Mercado, and now Lou Parker, Miss USA. 
We are back with our live show from Manila, and now it is time to find out who the judges selected to be the final three contestants for the title of Miss Universe. Ooh, ladies, you ready? Remember, I'm going to read these names in random order, and good luck to all of you. The first final three is Miss Venezuela Menorca Mercado. Miss... A lot of excitement in the room. A lot of excitement in the room, as you can tell. But we now have come to the final question, ladies. This is the last round of competition for the evening. Now, you are going to each get a question, and you will get the same question. You'll have 20 seconds in which to answer that question. And make sure that it's fair to Miss India, Miss Colombia, and Miss Venezuela. We don't want you two to hear the question as I asked Miss Venezuela. So if you two would step back into that uh, soundproof booth back there. And Menorca, if you would, please step right over here. I'm going to ask you the final question, if I can tear it apart. <laughs> you can tell security is very heavy here. Here's your final question. What for you is the essence of being a woman? Desde tu punto de vista, ¿qué es la esencia de ser una mujer? La que nos dio Dios. La esencia de dar amor a todos los seres humanos por igual, principalmente a nuestros hijos, porque es el futuro de todo el universo y además lo más lindo que puede dar una madre, un hijo. Gracias. The essence that God gave us, which is to give love, because we have to give love to everyone in the universe, especially, especially our children, and that is what we as mothers can do. Thank you. That's Miss Venezuela. If you'd step right back over here, please, and we bring out Miss India in the competition this evening and they will rank each young lady as they vote for her to be the second runner-up the first runner-up or the new Miss Universe we begin with Miss Venezuela Menorca Mercado next we have Miss India Sushmita Ladies, this is it. This is the moment. Now is the time to crown the second runner-up, the first runner-up, and the new Miss Universe. The accounting firm of Ernst & Young has reviewed the results, and Mark Ward has the results for me. Now, to assist us also, we have two beautiful women who know the excitement of this moment very well. The two former Miss Universe title holders from the Philippines, Gloria Diaz and Margarita Moran. Well, ladies, you are all winners, and you have represented your countries beautifully. But now only one can win the title of Miss Universe. Good luck to all three of you. The second runner-up is Miss Venezuela Menorca Mercado. Come on, ladies. Come on. Oh, boy. 